Young reporting for This Week in East Brunswick, and we're here at the East Brunswick Public Library where Joanne Lipman and Melanie Kaczynski will be discussing their book, Strings Attached, One Tough Teacher and the Gift of Great Expectations. The co-authors will also be playing a musical tribute to their late mentor, Mr. Kaczynski. And what can the audience expect from your multimedia tribute today at the East Brunswick Public Library? Well, we're introducing the audience not just to the story of my father, but also some of the music that plays a role in the book and is a character in the book. So you'll see pictures of dating back to almost, uh, you know, 1950s, 40s, and um, even earlier, and also hear a lot of selections of music that really tie strings attached to um, the music that plays a role. And I understand that you came to the library today to promote Strings Attached, One Tough Teacher, and the Gift of Great Expectations. Can you please tell me a little bit about the plot of the book? Sure. The book tells the story of Jerry Kopchinski, a man we all knew as Mr. K. He was East Brunswick's um, music uh, supervisor, and he was our childhood music teacher in addition to being Melanie's dad, and he was sort of the toughest teacher ever. He was a Ukrainian immigrant, and he had the big booming voice, and he had a remarkably successful music program, but he also had, which we students did not know at the time, a very dramatic, traumatic, often tragic life that he was leading away from the classroom, away from the stage, and uh, what we wanted to do was tell, it's a beautiful story and very inspiring story, and we wanted to tell his story, which is both, it reads, it's, it's actually been called a nonfiction novel. It reads like fiction, uh, reads very fast, um, and it tells a beautiful story that's very inspiring, but it also has many larger lessons about, about mentorship and about what it means to be a great teacher and a great leader and about teaching things like resilience and perseverance. How did you guys collaborate on this book? Well, I, of course, was the daughter of the subject of the book, Jerry Kopchinski, and Joanne Lipman was a student of Jerry Kopchinski. And um, Joanne and I put together our stories about my father and wrote a book about him and his lessons of, uh, that he taught to his students that are also much broader lessons that are really universal lessons of things that people use every day in their life. And Joanne has used those lessons away from the instrument as well. Uh, but one of the things that Melanie and I were really, really determined as we were writing Strings Attached is we wanted to understand what makes a teacher great and effective, but we also were very determined not to whitewash his methods. And he <laughs> could be tough. And what do you hope the audience can take away from the presentation today? Well, we hope that people will think of the mentors in their own lives, the people who shaped their lives and taught them, but lift and also challenged them and lifted them up. And we're also hoping to inspire people to go out and become mentors themselves. And uh, what's your favorite memory of Mr. K? I, I have so many memories. I think um, Strings Attached is sort of a, it, it's sort of a big thank you. Um, to a man who changed my life and also a thank you to, to others, to, to, you know, to teachers, to people who do that for others. And I know you spoke a little bit about this during the presentation. What was the most important lesson that Mr. K taught you? Well, he really taught me so much about focus and discipline and perseverance. Um, and those are lessons I use every day. And, you know, as a journalist, um, there's so many of those, you know, in terms of attention to detail, in terms of having the patience to really work on something and to focus on an issue and make sure that you understand an issue. Um, all of those things you sort of learn in music, and they translate incredibly well to other professions, including journalism. And what do you hope that the audience will take away from your story and your father's story? Well, it's nice to remember my father because he was a pivotal person in the musical life of East Brunswick. One of the, he was the first music uh, supervisor here, and the program is wonderful, still going strong. Some of his students are teachers there now. Many of his students went on to become teachers, and I'm just hoping that people will realize that even though you can have a very difficult life, you can still turn that into something wonderful and inspiring for others. And where can the audience purchase Strings Attached? Um, you can purchase Strings Attached on Amazon. You can purchase it at your local bookstore, at Barnes & Noble, anywhere books are sold, um, and certainly any of the online um, booksellers. And do you, Melanie, have any upcoming events? 
Well, I'll be back to work next week and I'm playing with Chicago Symphony every week. So we're next scheduled to be in Carnegie Hall um, locally here close to East Brunswick next January in 2015. And any upcoming events for you? Yeah, so we'll be talking about, or I'll be, Melanie's going back to Chicago. I'll be talking about Strings Attached in Greenwich, uh, Connecticut, um, this coming week, as well as in San Diego next weekend. So we've got a continuing schedule of events. And is there a website that the audience can go to to check out more information on Strings Attached? Yes, that's stringsattachedbook.com has all the information that you need. Plus, it actually has some of the audio and video clips of the music from the book. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, we, we were delighted to be here in East Brunswick today yeah. to, to come back to the place where the book, so much of the book takes place. And we are thrilled to share Strings Attached um, with everyone here, and we hope that they enjoy it. Yes, this is our home, and it feels like coming home. Yes, and we were was both a, born here. Yep. It was just a wonderful experience today to see so many old friends and people who remember us when, and it was wonderful to share this story with them that were here with us then, those people. I'm Vivian Leung reporting for This Week in East Brunswick, and we hope that you enjoy Joanne Lipman and Melanie Kopchinski's multimedia tribute to former East Brunswick Orchestra High School teacher, Jerry Kopchinski. Be sure to check out their book, Strings Attached, One Tough Teacher and the Gift of Great Expectations. We'll see you next week. I guess heard about the job in East Brunswick. It was a brand.